Now, 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 What's going on guys? I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing a Blu-ray unboxing. Now, I've done one of these before for the complete Blu-ray series of Breaking Bad. I'll put the card up there. I always forget which side it pops up on, but it will be up there if you guys want to go watch that. Um, I actually got this for Christmas and I already went over it a little bit in my um, Blu-ray haul for December slash Christmas of 2020. And by the way, it's crazy we're in 2021, but today I am going to be unboxing this thing, just showing you guys the ins and outs of this complete James Bond collection on Blu-ray. And the main reason I want to do this is I'm also making an announcement uh, that I am going to be going through every single James Bond movie, watching them all, uh, at least the Eon ones, I believe they're called, not the non-Eon films, which I think are Casino Royale and Never Say Never Again. I haven't seen a ton of these, but I've seen a good chunk of them. I've seen all the Craig ones in their entirety, and some of the uh, Connery ones, some of the Roger Moore, some of the Brosnan, here and there on TV, some completely, some not. So I'm just going from the beginning all the way to Spectre in preparation for No Time to Die. And I will be doing videos ranking each actor's filmography. And I guess for, is it Lazenby who has one movie? I will just do a review of that. Uh, but all the others, I'm going to be ranking their movies. So stay tuned for that leading up to No Time to Die. Fingers crossed that movie doesn't get delayed. I'm really pumped for it. It's one of my most anticipated of the year. But without further ado, I'm going to be unboxing this thing. Definitely hit the like button. Comment down below your thoughts on James Bond. What's your favorite James Bond movie? Who's your favorite James Bond? Do you guys have this Blu-ray set? Let me know all that and more. So right here, you've got the James Bond collection. It's white. You've got all the Bonds right there, 007. And then you've got the spine there. It's got MGM and the 007 logo, the Blu-ray logo, back, and the James Bond collection. So what you do is you take this out. There's the cover there. I'm going to put that down. And then you've got the same thing here, the James Bond collection. And then it's got the titles of the films on the side. And here you actually have three Blu-ray sets. One of them says 1962 to 1977. The other one says 1979 to 2002. And this one is 06 to 2015. So you've got three different Blu-ray cases in the actual box itself. And then if you take them out like that, you've got the Blu-ray cases. So first up, we've got it's pretty bland cover art, not gonna lie. I wish they did a little more. It's just white paper. And it says 007, 1962 to 1977. On the back, it has all the films listed. So you've got Dr. No from Russia with Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, Diamonds Are Forever, Live and Let Die, The Man with the Golden Gun, and The Spy Who Loved Me. If you can see right there, feel free to pause at any time. And you've got some information there, but that's the first one. You open it up. You've got Dr. No from Russia with Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, you Only Live Twice, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, which is George Lazenby, I believe. And then Diamonds Are Forever, which is the last Connery movie before Never Say Never Again. And then Live and Let Die, which is Roger Moore. Uh, the Man with the Golden Gun, I have seen that one with Roger Moore. It has Christopher Lee, rest in peace. And The Spy Who Loved Me. So that's that first little Blu-ray case there. And then you come around to the next one. And you've got uh, 1977 to 2002. Again, just the white bland background and the movies listed there on the back. I'll read them off. Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, A View to Kill, The Living Daylights, License to Kill, Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough, and Die Another Day. Now this one has some of the Roger Moore movies. It's got some of the, it has the Dalton movies I want to say, which are Living Daylights and License to Kill. And then it has one, two, three, four, all four of the uh, Pierce Brosnan movies. So if you open it up, by the way, Blu-ray ASMR, I think so. So if you open it up, you've got the discs in here. Again, all of them say 007, except for Spectre, I think. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, you've got Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, A View to Kill, Living Daylights, discs upside down, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> License to Kill, I'm reading backwards right now. Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough, and Die Another Day. And then the last one is going to be all of Daniel Craig's movies. It's slimmer, and it's going to be 2006 to 2015. Again, just the white design. Maybe I wish they had, like, some classic poster art on them from some of the Bond movies, or, like, a montage of the Bonds in their iconic shots kind of put together. That would be a lot nicer, I think, but we got what we got. I'm not complaining. For the hardcore Bond fans out there, there's, like, the Bond 50 set, I want to say. Bond 50, I want to say it's called. And it's, like, a really nice black and gold box set with, like, pages in it, I want to say, so... It's kind of in the same format as the Star Wars uh, complete saga box that I have, um, where you get 
like nice artwork inside and you could pull the discs out but i like having their own cases sometimes too so if you open it up you've got oh by the way those are his movies casino royale quantum of solace skyfall specter you've got casino royale quantum of solace skyfall and specter with the only one in the set without the 007 thing written on disc art but that is my unboxing of this uh james bond blu-ray set i actually own every single one of these except quantum in another singular blu-ray so i have casino royale on 4k with the slip cover i have skyfall um on regular blu-ray and i also have specter on regular blu-ray so when no, no time to die comes out i might be doing a giveaway though stay tuned for that i don't need to own them all i might keep casino since it's on 4k um but i don't need to own the other ones i have two copies now so yeah if you guys would like to see a giveaway um where i could actually ship them out to you just let me know in the comments down below you put them all back in and you put them all back in and that's the set it actually sits on my blu-ray shelf not in uh, in line with the other spines, just sits up on the shelf. So that's going to do it for my unboxing of the complete James Bond collection on Blu-ray. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more unboxings, definitely hit the like button. Just let me know in the comments down below. I'm totally open to doing more, especially for box sets, because I just think they're super cool. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean the world. And yeah, stay tuned for my Bond videos coming soon. Um, what's your favorite Bond movie? Let me know down below. I'm excited to dive into the the lore of James Bond, if you will. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bow wow 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 wow